Your life will be hard. Get used to it. You see, in life, problems are inevitable. Pain is inevitable. Grief, the sense of loss, they're all inevitable things. Yet again, a lot of people are not equipped with how to deal with it. And here are the reasons why. In life, we develop expectations of our reality. Yet we need to understand there's a clear distinction between expectations and reality itself. Expectations is the perception, thoughts, ideas that we carry about our reality. In short, it's our own interpretation of life, how it should be going, where we should go with it, so on and so on. But reality is reality. It is the objective thing that is before your eyes, no matter what you think of it, no matter what you do with it, so on and so on. And part of the reason why it's so difficult for you to deal with your pain, part of the reason why you find it so difficult to deal with more and more challenges is because your expectations of it are not aligned with what reality is presented to you. Because reality is this, reality will have ups and downs. Reality will have new problems, new challenges, new expectations. This is inevitable for anyone and everyone. It doesn't matter your race, your gender, your socioeconomic status, so on and so on. Everyone is going to face suffering in their lives. That is reality. However, the level of suffering, the level of pain is actually almost entirely dependent of your perception. And that is what makes this so critical. Now, to be fair, this idea is not mine. This is actually an article I was reading from Dan Co, a YouTuber who preaches self-improvement and entrepreneurship. And it was an idea that he talks about that if you truly want to master your mind and move through life as gracefully as you can, you need to understand your life will be hard, but this is so hard for people to accept. And he gives two analogies that are particularly powerful. Imagine one person going to the sauna, and imagine another person going out on a hot sunny day. The reality for both situations are the same. It's hot, you're going to sweat, it's going to be uncomfortable, you might be dehydrated, so on and so on. However, the level of pain, the level of discomfort will vary greatly based on those two experiences. Now why is that? That is because the person who goes to the sauna has an active mission. They are going there to increase their discipline, burn calories, be there to meditate. They actively know that even though they're going in an environment where they're going to be hot, uncomfortable, sweaty, they go there with a mission. And as a result, their suffering decreases significantly. But the person who goes out on a hot sunny day, maybe they had plans with their friends, they wanted to do stuff and now they couldn't, their pain and their discomfort goes much higher because although it's the same reality of it being hot, being sweaty, being uncomfortable, the expectations aligned with it made it so much more painful for that person. And that is the thing, when problems happen, when loss occurs, your perception or rather your expectations for what you expected are not aligning with reality as it is. And that's what causes huge problems because problems are really just gaps between our understanding of reality and reality itself. And that is why the people who are able to solve their problems are the people who are far better off in life because they recognize the gap. They recognized the bottleneck and they were able to either mitigate it or solve it. And in order to really mentally master yourself, in order to make problems into opportunities or to mitigate the severity of problems, you need to constantly push yourself out of your comfort zones because there's another analogy in play here and it stays true. The more you stay in your comfort zone, the more you stay in that house that is warm, familiar, and easy to be in, the more difficult it will be for you to step outside because the longer you stay in it, why would you want to go outside? Why would you want to face the unknown, the uncomfortabilities, the realities of life? But the more you stay in your comfort zone, the more you stay in that house that is warm and familiar, the more and more pain you are inevitably bringing on to yourself. So you need to mentally master yourself through four different tactics. And one is pursuing a challenging goal. The reason why having a challenging goal will help you mentally master yourself and your perception of your problems is because challenges bring uncertainty. Challenges require sacrifice. Challenges require discipline. These are traits that help you build your resilience. They help you build your tenacity. They help you broaden your perspective about life. And that is why it's so important to keep pursuing challenge after challenge because it allows you to become more versatile. It allows you to roughen out the edges or rather smooth out your edges and become more versatile, more malleable, 
more understanding. The second is to be as conscious as you possibly can when you're facing a stressful situation. You see, you need to ask yourself when you're dealt with the inevitable pain, the inevitable challenge, do you find it uncomfortable? Do you find it painful, particularly hard or overbearing? Or do you try to take a step back and understand the situation for what it is, despite the uncomfortability of that moment? Because again, your answer to that will show how your expectations are aligning with reality. And because reality includes struggle, difficulties, and challenges, you cannot escape them. You cannot. And that means you have to accept what is currently going on if you truly want to surmount it. So if you're facing a problem, don't run away from it. Be as conscious as you possibly can. Go through those feelings of uncomfortability. Accept that it's there in order to move on. And three, a big component of this, guys, is perception. Your perception literally dictates your reality. And your perception of the problem might be very overwhelming, very inundating at the start. You might see it as something that's so impossibly hard, but as you experience it more and more, as you try to figure out solutions, your perception of it will change. It will become easier and more tolerable. And over time, perhaps that problem that was once ruining your life is something that doesn't even bother you anymore. And that is why this concept is known as a perception threshold. This is known as your perspective continuously shifting over time as your perception of the problem, your expectations of the problem shifts. And when you eventually cross a perception threshold after a certain level, that means you've accepted the problem for what it is and you no longer have the initial difficulties you had associating with it. Perhaps learning the language was so hard, so difficult at the start, but now, it's easy. You don't associate it with any pain or any difficulty. So in short, you need to understand that if you truly want to have an easier life, if you truly want to solve that pain, if you truly do not want to be overwhelmed and inundated when pain happens, you need to broaden your perspective. And part of broadening your perspective is accepting that pain is inevitable. Your life will be hard at some times. Yet, by doing more challenging things, by pushing yourself out of your comfort zone, by trying to have an increased perspective, or rather, a more versatile perspective behind your problems and behind what is happening in your life, you will broaden your perspective. And broadening your perspective is one of the main solutions, one of the key things that you can do if you want to mitigate the gap that problems often create for all of us. With that being said, do more, think less.